founder of DollarShaveClub.com. What is DollarShaveClub.com? Well, for a dollar a month, we send high-quality razors right to your door. Yeah, a dollar. Are the blades any good? No. Our blades are f***ing great. Each razor has stainless steel blades and aloe vera lubricating strip and a pivot head. It's so gentle a toddler could use it. And do you like spending $20 a month on brand name razors? Hey, welcome to Sports Fed. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Did you call it Sports Fed? I did, because we're out of sports. We only do it very often. It's Sports Fed. This, this, okay, this is weird. Weird is the right word for this. Yeah, thing. weird, weird, crazy, confusing, host. Yeah, definitely weird. Manti Teo was a college footballing Mormon linebacker who played for Notre Dame, a college footballing Catholic institution. This year was his senior year, and he was one of the best players in the country. He actually finished second in the Heisman Trophy vote, which is a big deal, Elliot. It's a big deal. I know, I know. But it's even bigger when you're a defensive player. True. Sometimes in order to establish yourself in the minds of the voters, you have to have a good story attached to your name, and oh boy, did Manti Teo have a heck of a story. Teo became the poster child for sports stars overcoming tragedy this year. In September, it was reported by Sports Illustrated that six hours after his grandmother passed, a woman who he was incredibly close to, his Stanford girlfriend who was recovering from injuries sustained in a car wreck, had also passed away after succumbing to leukemia. Saddest story ever, right? Lene Kakua was 22 years old and confined to the hospital. Teo would reportedly stay on the phone with her through the night because, quote, her relatives told him that at her lowest point, as she fought to emerge from a coma, her breathing rate would increase at the sound of his voice. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Now, of course, we're joking around about actually being like emotionally affected by this, but the fact is, a lot of people were. Okay, so because of that, let's do a quick recap. Young football star suffers tragic losses, featured in all the papers, and then totally destroys everybody on the field, overcoming heartbreaking situation and capturing the heart of the nation, catapulting teams to a national championship game, firmly establishing young football star in the upcoming NFL draft. Good for young football star. Well, guess what? Turns out Kekua had no social security number, no obituary, no mention of ever being a student at Stanford, nothing. Zip. She only ever sort of existed in the world of Twitter and Instagram, and her picture ended up being a picture lifted from a different 22-year-old woman who had no idea that her picture was being used for a dip and purpose. Now, the debate is if it was weird, you know, if the crazy was At best, this is the story of a high-profile athlete that was duped by some weird sicko in a fabricated online relationship, and at its worst, an athlete created an elaborate emotional story for publicity and duped everybody in the sporting world, which might be what actually happened, which is crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. And since we can't cover everything, Deadspin did a great job of backtracking to loads of content and attempt to keep this story together. And on that note, the writers of the article, Timothy Burke and Jack Dickey, did an awesome job with this report. I think it should be plastered on the walls of like journalism classes everywhere. These two writers named drop CBS, ESPN, the LA Times, the New York Times, and more, and pinpoint their inability to check the facts and have consistent story. In the age of the internet, when information flies in from every direction,
intellectually because we live in the